I was watching Louis C.K. the other night, and he was talking about children lying. He was talking about his nine-year-old daughter lying, and he said, well, it's no, it's no wonder your children lie, and it's no wonder it's impossible for you to stop them, because, you know, you're talking to someone whose his head would scrape the roof, they weigh like three times as much as you, and they're capable of force, and they're intimidating. And they say to you something like, did you, did you take that last cookie after I told you not to? And you're thinking, oh no, I took the cookie. What am I going to do? And then you, you, you get a genius idea in your head, which children, smarter children learn to lie earlier. Children with high IQs learn to lie younger. And, and CK says, well, it's like you've just been handed a magic get out of jail free card. You can just say, no, I didn't take that cookie. And worse than that, it works in every single situation if you get away with it. And now you're supposed to learn not to do that. I said, well, great. Well, that's the thing about comedians. You know, they'll tell you the underlying truth, which is why people think they're so funny, like the jester in a king's court, right? He's the only one who's allowed to tell the king the truth, because he's beneath contempt. That's what comedians do. And so, well, so what happens is, well, Pinocchio's not very happy about this, right? It's really breaking him up. And the blue fairy appears again from the star, same way. So what this means is, is and I think this is right. This is something Jung talked about, and it was also extraordinarily brilliant. He said that it's one thing to break a rule when you don't really know the rule. You can, for whatever reason, you seem to get a bit of a free pass for that. But if then you know the rule, and then you break it anyways, you get hit a lot harder. And I know that's true, and I even think I figured out why it was true at one point, but I can't remember at the moment. But there's something, there's something about, it's like the severity of a moral error isn't quite as massive if you're genuinely ignorant and unconscious about the rule. And maybe it's because you're not violating your own belief system as much when you engage in the misactivity. It's, it's something like that. So, so anyways, Pinocchio's in there, and he, he's partly at fault, because, at least because he's naive, and, and he's very desperate about it. But it's also because his conscience isn't functioning very well. So he has his reasons, and so whatever, the Blue Fairy shows up again. Mother Nature steps in to aid him. And so, and that is true, I would say, because it's not like you get walloped or killed every time you make a mistake, right? It's, it's, it's kind of interesting. And especially that's the case with kids, is like we have more leeway from, for them. Whether nature does, that's a different issue, but 